Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to the Art of Programming Using Scala. In this video, we're going to refer back to something we did in the previous chapter, where we wrote an expression parser. And this was a recursive expression parser that used divide and conquer to, uh, to basically take an expression and give us back the value for it. One of the challenges with that code is if we were to actually put it into production, uh, the way this code works, it's doing a whole lot of string manipulation. And string manipulation manipulation is not very fast. One of the things I might actually like to be able to do would be to put variables into here. And now, the, the fact that string manipulation isn't that fast isn't a huge problem when all your values are constant because you really only need to be able to evaluate this once. But as soon as I put a variable in here, now I might actually want to evaluate this many, many times with different values of x. And as soon as I do that, I'd like to have something that is faster than uh, what this code is doing. I don't want to have to run through the string, find the location of, of the operators, and, and do this full recursion every single time. So one way to make this more efficient is to fundamentally, well, we're going to keep most of this method, but we're going to change what happens. Instead of having this be just an evaluation step, we're going to make it so that this is uh, parsed out to a tree. So let's take the formula that we have here. I'm going to get rid of the parentheses. So this is 4 times 3 plus x times 5. 4 times 3 plus x times 5. And I want to show you how we can visualize this formula, or this expression right here, as a tree. We're going to follow the same logic that we had before. We're going to find the lowest precedence operator, which is, of course, here, the plus. And so our tree is rooted in the plus sign. And then we have the two things that come off of either side. So on the 4 times 3, the lowest precedence operator is the times. So we have a multiplication over here. and these are connected. So this winds up, the plus winds up being the parent of the multiply, and then on one side of the multiply we have a 4, on the other side we have a 3. So we have our 4, as well as our 3. Move these around a little bit. Make this look a little better. And then connect these up. On the other side of the formula, we had x times 5. So it finds the operator multiply again. And so we have a times over here and then an x and a 5, x, 5, and we can move these around to match up roughly with what we have on the other side, and then make our connections. So this expression right here should wind up creating a tree that looks roughly like this. And the advantage of that is after we go through and just parse this string, we can build this tree from it, and then it's very fast to evaluate this tree. And the, because we're not running through the string, finding things, we're not creating substrings or anything like that. This tree winds up being static and immutable. All we do is we call an evaluation on it, and we tell it what va variables to use for x. So we're going to come back in the next video, we're going to figure out how to actually put variables into our previous uh, expression parser, and then after we've figured out how to do that, we'll look at how we can parse this into a tree.